guys and welcome here to my new channel called Dark Wings. And if you guys don't know what the channel is based on, it's based on a Velto. And yeah guys, this is my channel introduction. So let's get started. So, yeah, I'm covering my hand over the camera. Anyways, let's get into it. So as you guys can see, currently I'm organizing, possibly. Also there's my light. Right here is my little light. Also there's a little snowman on there. We don't care about him today. This video is all about Pokemon cards. Today what I thought I would do is show off part of my collection uh, because I think you know, that's a decent introduction video. Show off collection. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing is doing um, decks. Uh, poss um, like showing you guys my deck uh, from time to time. Also maybe doing some battle battles with friends here. Maybe doing even a little bit of a tournament with my friend so maybe i'm not really sure let's see how it works out see this is gonna be our big play mod here i do have the mega blaze can play mod but that's in my room and also i'm not currently gonna be using it so whatever this one looks uh maybe gets probably dirty or something a lot of things on it and then easily i will just use the blaze kid as can tell me you know whatever also I thought first off, oops, I thought first off what I would do is I would show you guys my Korean Pokemon cards collection. So it's not that many. Uh, I bought a Fate, Fate Collide booster box for it for um, green cards. So one of my friends, um, you might hear me mention him. He's a uh, pretty much into Pokemon like I am, and he mentioned to me for getting one of these like Korean booster boxes. So all these are just the commons. And uncommons in there, and they're nothing too special. But I'm gonna be showing you guys the ultra rares that I got. Plus, I'm recording this on my phone. I'm very sorry. I don't really have a stand. I don't really have anything currently. I'll just put that there for now. And here is the ultra rares that I got. Um. So first off, I got a Lugia break card from it. Um. Just uh, make sure it's focused. Is that the question? I'll zoom in a little bit. Just is it focused? Is the question? Let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I would say so. This is the card that I got. Lugia Break. If you guys are wondering how you can read this, simply if you know the names of the Pokemon, it's easy. Next up, I have uh, I got an Altaria EX from that. Which these cards, they they feel kind of weird from you know the regular. Yeah, because when you take a look at the back, you would definitely say they're fake, but I think it's just the way they're manufactured. Like, Japan's borders are actually, like, gray, and they're a lot different from these ones. Also, I got a Mega Alakazam EX, which is an awesome card. Um, I think, uh, and the cool thing is you actually get to read the attack, so I don't have a Mega Alakazam on me, an English one, but in English... It would say this in Japanese, uh, but in Korean, I thought it would say it in Korean, but it's Zen Force, which is the attack. And then lastly, the Umbreon EX, which is awesome. I think this card's pretty cool. I can't remember, I think this card was actually sort of playable. Lastly, um, it was based on a Velto. I thought I would show you guys my Velto collection last. So for next, um, I'm very sorry for the background noise. I'm not sorry. Now I would show you just a couple old cards that I have near my little setup here. I have an Omastar. These are actually not really. You know, I do have a base set Pikachu. I opened a base set pack for this one. Uh, I don't really know anything else to show you guys except um, my Avel talk. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my deck. So currently I'm building a deck. Um, and you guys can give me tips on all that. Um, so first off, it's supposed to be a Tapu Koko Octillery, um, sort of deck. Um, so I'm running three Remorades. I'm running the new Octillery, not the Breakthrough Octillery. Because most of the card, I'm not sure, I think that card's still in play. Here's the Octillery. Let me just read off the attacks here, guys. Ink Spit. 
after one energy. If the defending Pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn, your opponent flips a coin to Tails and attacks the other. That could be very good, especially, um, I don't know, that, that could be, that could work well. I mean, I, I gotta say. Next attack is for one, um, one water energy and one color energy. You may discard a special energy from this Pokemon if you do this attack does 80 more damage. And the thing is, is I'm also running double colors energy in this deck. So I guess if you put one on there, 80 more damage, 120. That's a pretty decent card. Next, I decided to just throw in Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and then whatever the other evolution is. And um, you'll see why that will come in a factor. Also, I forgot to me mention this is going to be an Alolan Vulpix and Alolan Ninetales deck, too. And then just throwing these guys in, Alolan Geodude and Alolan Graveler. Um, Alolan Geodude is... I, I, I was just skimming through my cards and I found a little gravel and the attacks are Thunder Punch. I have quite a feds. This attack does 20, 21 damage if Tails is attacked as for damage yourself. Um, it's kind of expensive energy wise. If you guys can sort of see that, it's kind of expensive. And then uh, there's Electro Bullet. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench, bench Pokemon. So it's sort of like a Gudra. Uh, with the second attack, except um, more energies. So pretty much that's what I kind of wanted to go for was you know attacking. And this is just this is just a primary deck. Obviously it's not the greatest. The next off we have the Tapu Cocos. I'm just talking about. We have the hollow type of Coco. Flying foot this deck is pretty damage each of your opponents um opponents Pokemon. Which is good. It's sort of like um Gudra except it's kind of like a little Graveler and Gudra put together. And if you guys want to know my old deck that I was creating, it was like a Zorark uh, Veltal Break deck with like Gudra in it. So how you would play it is, uh, so I think the Veltal, I have the Veltal Break with me right now. Let me, I'm not going to show it to you guys, but the attack was Blayful Knight. This attack does 30 damage to each other. Bonus bench Pokemon. I'm playing with that Gudra. Um, playing with that Gudra, you switch out. And then I think I have. Um, I can't remember where it is. Let me look through my breaks. Um, but the other one I got was a Zoroark break, which is foul play. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attacks and use that attack for one energy. Guys, that's pretty good right there. Um, and I thought because my I think my background noise i'm gonna have to when i'm editing this video i'm gonna have to put some background things fill it out um, besides the point here the zoroark break um i thought we would work is the zoroark break was an add-on to the deck what the veltal break and the gudra i wonder how you play it i thought it would work out pretty well let me get a gudra real quick i'm not really sure where it is i'll show you after my deck so we just have double colorist the energies you guys probably don't really care about um, and here we have Big Malsada, mainly to use for some, um, I guess you could say, I'm not really sure why I put this in here, for some reason I did, I think possibly for the activities and stuff, we have Rescue Stretcher next, uh, and I Rescue Stretcher, what a Pokemon from your discard pile in your hand, card there. How? Draw three cards. First a Kakui, always nice to have. And then team um school one. That could be pretty well except if they had um the stretcher or whatever. I can't remember. I actually can't remember. What if they had some sort of if they had energy retrieval, team skull blunt is useless. But this could be a good card if they don't have energy retrieval. And then time to well. That's what I was talking about with the polywag and polywag. Flip two coins for each head, search your deck for an evolution Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, and show the deck. That's what I was going with for that card. And then next off, next I'm going to show you guys my Hall collection. Also, I was going to kind of um, get out the, the, the Gudra, so I'm going to go for it. Okay, so this is the Gudra, I believe discontinued, yep. 
and had liquid blow. This stack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each of your energy and its retreat cost or life against. It pretty much, I uh, play the event call break um, with it, and I don't really think anyone's done this deck. I, I thought it was a good idea, but of course, when I was trying the deck already, all the cards had to go out. They had to go out of format. You had to play expanded if you wanted to play them. Normally, you don't play expanded. You play standard. So anyways, next off, I'm showing you guys my Veltal collection. First off, I have this cool Veltal pin. I think this pin is awesome. And next off, here we have... First off, we have my Veltal, which was the Fright Night of Veltals. Um, which I, I put these in my deck as well. Hey, that was going to be a pretty good deck. Another one, I have three of them. Uh, and then this, guys, this Aveltal is awesome, I believe. This is my favorite Aveltal out of the ones that I have. I don't know, I just find this one awesome out of all of them. Next, we have the Aveltal Break, which is a nice card. I got that, that was the only, that's like the only thing I've got out of Siege. Next off, we have the Aveltal EX from the tin, and this, I think this card's worth this one. Attacks your evil ball. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. Y Cyclone, move an energy from this Pokemon to one of the attached Pokemon. So, you know, it's a decent card. I think it's actually worth a decent amount. But that is my little Aveltal collection. And also, I do have a Xerneas. If you're wondering, so. Xerneas. Cool Pokemon, which you no, know, you're not entirely. And then also, here's another little pin that I have. It's the Sharpedo pin. It's a pretty nice pin. I do have the Mega Sharpedo, which is actually a pretty cool card. So, that's the point there. That's going to wrap it up for my introduction video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just decided to show you guys part of my collection, and that's going to be it for this video. See you later. And by the way, most likely I'm going to be recording videos every other day. Uh, so most likely, I mean, not like every other day, probably, you know, one or twice a week. Um, but, uh, if you guys don't know, I'm opening another channel. I have another channel, too. Um, but you guys will learn later my channel.